Lesson four, knowing when to engage and final wrap up. So far, you have learned about drafting key messages, identifying a spokesperson and supporting messengers, and using various channels to communicate with your stakeholders. With these skills, you'll be better prepared to handle any communication challenge that comes your way. The last piece of the puzzle is knowing if and when to respond to an emerging issue. Not every issue deserves a response, and determining whether to respond is a choice you'll need to make on a case-by-case -case basis. To help you decide, consider what impact this issue might have on your work or your reputation. If the impact to your work is minor, the situation might not require a response. You don't want to give weight or credibility to things that don't deserve it. On the other hand, even minor incidents may significantly impact your reputation if they are not communicated carefully. As the expert, use your best judgment to decide. Once you've decided to respond, you should communicate as soon as you are able. The earlier you can transparently communicate about an issue, the more likely you are to be successful in managing it. Let's walk through an example. During the primary election in Springfield County, Multiple polling places experienced power outages as the result of severe weather on Election Day. The County Board of Elections immediately began to work with various stakeholders, including the fire department and the power company, to get the issue quickly resolved. While this was happening, nervous and concerned voters began calling the Board of Elections' main number, with many callers getting a busy signal or being asked to wait on hold for upwards of 20 minutes. A local reporter, who was kept on hold, quickly took to their social media to describe the experience, criticizing the Board of Elections for their lack of communication. After a little over two hours, all polling locations were able to restore power, and the power company released a statement on their site and social channels confirming the outages have been addressed. This is an example of a scenario that requires prioritizing a response. The public was looking to the Board of Elections to assure them that the necessary steps were being taken to address the situation. What could the Board of Elections have done differently? In this situation, the main office started receiving inquiries or questions from the public before they were ready to respond. Instead of putting people on hold for long periods, consider a phrase like, we are working diligently to resolve the issue and hope to have a more concrete update to share shortly. This transparent, real-time response gives you the necessary time to organize your key messages, communicate with your spokesperson or messenger, and identify the proper channels of communication before engaging in formal communications activity. Now spend a couple of minutes thinking through potential situations that might occur during your next election and the impact they would have on your work or reputation. Which of the scenarios would require a response and why? What key messages, spokespeople, and supporting messengers and channels might you use in your response?